So a few minutes ago, a White House spokesman just released a statement saying that I was lying about being blocked by POTUS. Well, right now I'm saying those allegations are completely fallacious. And if you think, if you think the American people are going to fall for your little tricks, you're downright crazy. This administration has lied to the American people time and time again. They lied about Benghazi. They lied about the IRS. They lie about every issue of importance to the American people. And they expect us to believe. They expect us to believe that they are telling the truth about this. No, they're not. Because when I got home, I saw it. I went to the POTUS' Twitter feed to promote my petition to make him sit down for a meeting with me to talk about the issues that matter. Yeah, I did. And I was, I was completely, completely shocked when I saw that I was blocked. Because the leader of the free world doesn't block American citizens. The leader of the free world doesn't stifle free speech. Or at least that's what I thought. Because it doesn't seem, it, it seems that that's not true anymore. I stand by the screenshot. I think the screenshot is quite clear. He blocked me. And now they're backtracking? Well, congratulations. We have a painter in chief. And it almost sucks. That this is what it takes to get a response from the White House. True allegations, they get heat for it, and then they respond. Well, Josh Ernest, President Obama, I'm not falling for your lies, and no one that saw the screenshot will. You're lying, and it's time for you to stop. You say you have evidence, I look forward to it. I posted the screenshot, the screenshot is there, and that is the cold, hard truth, whether you decide to accept it or not.